I am Blockhead ATL. I have been following other artists for a little while. I wanted to come up with some way to come up with my own art, so after kicking a few ideas around, I came up with the idea for Blockheads. I have a few Bear Bricks, which are a vinyl toy. They're in the same vein as Kid Robot and a lot of other vinyl toys. And I liked the idea of the same shape, different things on it all the time. And I had seen some carving project someone did where a character had a square head, but it was a very detailed body and it's like a human with a square head. And I simplified that idea. The free art community in Atlanta is very accepting and welcoming and an amazing group of artists that are very friendly. And a lot of them keep their identity secret, but once you kind of have made a few things, maybe go to a few events, you'll start meeting other people and they'll just welcome you in. There's a lot of people giving advice for, you know, maybe use this wood, maybe use this kind of tool. Just a lot of very helpful, very welcoming people. Free Art Friday in general is all about connecting with the city and giving to the city and love for the city. I try to incorporate ATL logos and love for ATL in the stuff I do when I can. I do the Miss ATL. She's someone very significant in my life. Can't reveal her identity. It must remain a mystery. Miss ATL. I just, the name was fitting for her. True class. I learned about every man a few years ago when I went to a production party. And so that was really rad. I met another artist there named Phoenix. And she was telling me that she was making her own art and putting it out on the streets. So I thought that was the coolest thing ever. She told me to give it a try. The Miss ATL face came from an old uh, vintage modeling photo. The whole Free Art Friday thing, I guess through like Facebook and Twitter, people have kind of been catching on to it, like that this is a movement. People are putting out free art. I don't know, people are searching and people are just, if they got a creative idea, they're jumping in and they're making stuff and they're putting it out there. And so I know I've been involved since November. And since then, I feel like there's been a whole like influx of people. I have such a heart and a passion for the city and also for the people in the city. People oftentimes, I guess, feel real alone. Some people never see a smile or get one. And so it would be my hope that if they come across a Miss ATL on the street, that maybe they would have a little joy and maybe it would even, you know, cause them to smile. So passion for the city and passion for, um, you know, the people in the city. So I make uh, what people have called spooky tunes, and uh, basically the name came from uh, my animation business when I started Incorporated. I thought it was, you know, funny at the time, and eventually just got stuck with it. A ghost is always represented to me like as a, just a weird little sheet with four points, and it just kind of became a duel where they were really crappy and, you know, crudely drawn all the time, and it eventually just became something where I became a little bit more passionate about it. When I was doing festivals, I'd have some downtime every once in a while, and I thought it would just be fun to, to go and put it somewhere. And um, putting it on social media you know, showed me that you know, people really get excited about it, and it was kind of just a nice thing to do. The idea of it being uh, non-destructive vandalism, because I, you know, I think Atlanta is definitely a great street art town, and uh, I wanted to do my part, but I also didn't want to damage the city in any kind of way. And um, what kind of came after that was just people that would, would pick up the ghosts and take them home and share them and just seeing the genuine joy that they got from that really, you know, made me want to do it more and more. My name is Kat Lana and the name was taken from a t-shirt that I inherited from my grandmother that had cats jumping over the city. And I started writing it with the caps when I was doing graffiti, never really thinking of it as a name, but it sort of became the name for the project and I've run with it. The Catlanta shape is uh, 
sort of based off of a cartoon that I was drawing of my, my own cat, Sterling, and sort of went with it from there. I started making free art uh, sort of organically. Uh, I found a bunch of materials uh, at a job that I was working at and started making cats out of them and putting them on the street and seeing the response from people is what kind of spurred me to keep it going and uh, start putting them on Twitter and social media. I've been making free art for about two and a half years now. I'm not sure if my art necessarily connects with the Atlanta community, but I think it definitely causes people to connect with their community and that it forces them to get out of their house and maybe go to places that they've never seen before or go to events that they might not have been attending. So it, it's almost the art leads people to their city. I found one! <laughs>I'm every man, and I've been doing a gifting project. It's been a social experiment, just seeing how people interact with this art that we are putting out. I mean, there's a lot of us now putting art out. I think it's healthy to have these oddities in our environment, these little things that give you a glimpse. It can just take you out of your normal routine, day-to-day -day routine. It can just give you a nice feeling, you know, like, okay, wow, well, I'm, I'm not alone here. There's there are kindred spirits out there. There's more going on than maybe you think about enough. So I think it's good you know, give you a, a jolt like that in your psyche.